Miss T's Doll Room, and today we're back with part two of the Target Dollar Spot Diorama Bill. Now, today I'm going to show you all of the other things I got from the Target Dollar Spot to use to make my diorama. I'm going to show you my choices of the foam core I use for the walls, the rugs, the flooring, all the little items that I use to accessorize the diorama, and then I'll show you how I place my dolls and what dolls I use to put in the scene to take my pictures. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the back wall that I made using the uh, $3 windows from the Target Dollar Spot and I put the scenes from the Southern, magazine, Southern Living Magazines behind them. And this is how that wall looks. And then to my left, this wall is going to be uh, a piece of the plastic see-through foam core that's what I'm using for this wall and I put it on the left side because I have a window directly behind this setup and when I open the blinds then the sunshine comes through the light comes through because it's kind of translucent and um, so you get nice shadows from the lines and the blinds and everything and it makes for some really interesting pictures and then on the right it's just a plain sheet of white foam core from the Dollar Tree. So I got the black foam and the white uh, foam core. Both of those came from the Dollar Tree. But I got this translucent one from Michaels. And it cost maybe 2 or $3 for that sheet. So I didn't want to cut it and put holes in it. It's not like I can't buy any more. But the last time I was in Michaels, they didn't have any more. So I haven't cut this sheet at all. Alright, and on the floor, we just have a piece of Dollar Tree foam core that I covered in uh, some wood grain contact paper a really long time ago. And if you can see the far edges to the uh, left, you know, they're kind of ragged, but you won't see any of that once I stage and put the furniture. Now, you'll notice that this sheet of foam core is probably like two inches um, not wide enough. For the whole floor so what I'm going to do on that side of the floor in that gap I'll have some rugs so I may cut a piece of foam cord just to put there to make everything a little level and then spread the rugs on there but we'll see how that goes so this is the basic setup for my diorama and I am using um, Stovall the doll his name Cody Brooks he's on Instagram and he makes these fabulous diorama clips and that's what's holding the three walls together at the top and at the bottom in the corners you just slide your foam core in those corners and it, it should make a 90 degree angle but as you can see you know when you move it around you'll get a little gap the um, clips may you know slide and I just put them back together and then I'll put a piece of tape on the side walls just to give it a little more support so I will tighten that up and then I'll show you all the things I'm gonna put in the diorama that you saw on the thumbnail for the video and you know it's just basically me picking through my collection and finding things that I've been holding on to for a very long time to do a project just like this so stay tuned we'll be right back and I'll we'll get started on that stuff okay we're gonna get started with showing you the items I pulled for my diorama and what if any modifications I made to them so I have these two white fur rugs and so we're gonna use them to fill this little gap over here. So I just put the rugs there. And I just made sure to have the grain of the rug and the nap of the rug running the same way so it looks like it's just one continuous piece instead of two pieces of rug there. And we're going to have a little seating area over here. Alright, the next Target Dollar Spot item that I got for this video is this Decor Riser. It is a Target Dollar Spot Decor Riser. The risers were $3 each. And they had one that was shorter. But when I saw them, I said, oh, that would make a perfect, I bet it's the perfect height for a table for my Barbie and Fashion Royalty dolls. And I got home and I found some of my Cindy chairs. These are the old vintage chairs. Some of them have red seats and green seats. And what I did was I used a little Mod Podge and some white paint. And I painted them. And they have kind of like a little shabby chic look to it. But the, the chairs fit perfectly under this table 
and the dolls sit very well under the table. So I managed to get four of these under this table for a cute little dining set. And I thought it was just great that I could get a $3 table from the Target dollar spot. Alright, the next items from the Target dollar spot are these little $3 plants. So I have one of the taller ones, it's like a tree. And I have the smaller little potted plant here. And they were $3 each. So I'm going to use those for the far corners. And let me go ahead and set that up. So I wanted to use this plant over here in this corner under that window. And this one will go over here in this corner. Alright. Next, we have some miniature baking racks that I got. I collected these things probably 15, 20 years ago and they're wire racks and they fold down to put little doll paraphernalia so it's like a, a baker's rack for a doll and on it I have some plants from I think Hobby Lobby that's a remit piece there box of tissues the candles I have a bunch of those little candles you'll see in the scene and they all came from the Barbie um, my scene play sets and then I have the Godiva chocolates and this accompanied one of those fashion avenues with the blue gown. So I have some chocolates there. A little set of remit macaroons. And then I have the little succulent set from the Barbie play set from last year. And this is like a photo lens bulb or something like that. And I just found it and I said, well, it's bright shiny. So I just put the little succulent insert inside of it. And I'm using... Um, poster tack to kind of keep things tacked down because you know when it, you bump it or move it things will roll over and the poster tack has just enough putty qualities on it just to kind of give it a little stick so if you do bump it accidentally it won't fall over so let's put that in our scene I'm going to put this over here near the table so let me get that done and like I say I didn't post a tag everything, so bear with me here. And we have one more. I have two of those. I actually think I have three of these little racks, and um, I don't know what I did with the third one but I'm sure I'll come across it because I am still unpacking after all this time since August I am still going through all of my little dolly treasures and everything so let me show you what I have on this this little shelf so I have this little trinket dish and it's done in a lovely little lilac lavender color and it says bay and I got that from the Target dollar spot. That was a dollar. Then I have this little acrylic star. That was a decor piece that um, a lady was selling on her website probably 15 years ago. And I had a couple of them. So I found one of those. And this is a little potted plant that I made with silk plants. And a little moss in there. And I bought the little pots at Michael's. And I made that. Just put a little uh, styrofoam ball in there and stuck the little plant stems down in it. And put a little moss, glued a little moss to the top to make a plant. And I've probably been toting that around for about 15 years too. And then I have the globe, the Barbie globe from the uh, reproduction teacher, vintage teacher Barbie. I have that. And again, here's another one of those candles that I used from... Um, the Barbie Mycene set, and I think this lava lamp came from one of those Barbie sets. And I'm using a lot of lavenders in this, 
because I wanted this uh, diorama to have a lot of color. Now this is a vase, a Barbie vase that came from one of their little playset, Arco playsets. And this is a little tray that I made with popsicle sticks and marble contact paper. So I have that in a tray at the bottom with a little African violet. Let me see. There we go. A little African violet in a basket down there. So that completes the staging for this little rack here. And so we're going to put this one on this wall. Alright. And this is our little dining area for this part of the diorama. And then I have some artwork. So I made these paintings using the acrylic pour technique. But I didn't dilute my paints a lot. But it was bright. It was colorful. Lavenders, uh, fuchsia, coral, gold, black, white, teal. I liked it. I'm going to put it on the wall. Because I wanted the diorama to have a lot of colors that I could use. Because I'm going to need those colors when I have to stage the little diorama shelf. So this is one piece of artwork that I made. And after it dried, it was a lot of paint. It was very thick. But after it dried, I just sealed it with some Mod Podge. With some glossy Mod Podge. And here's another little painting that I did. Coral, peach, and light pink. It's supposed to be my rep representation of the glitter art that everybody's doing. The bling art. But I didn't invest in the um, crushed glass and chunky glitter and all that. This Everything that I used to make these paintings came from Dollar Tree. Or that Apple Barrel craft paint, 99 cent from Walmart. And the Dollar Tree canvases, which um, the 4x6 comes 3 in a pack. And the 5x7s come 2 in a pack for a dollar. So I find the painting very relaxing and very, very calming. So I actually enjoy it. So I'm going to use this one. It's going to go on the right wall. And then this one will be, you know, on the wall behind the little dining set. So let me get those set up for you. Alright, so we have the wall art hung. And I use little Velcro dots on the back of the pictures. They peel off pretty cleanly. So that's what I use to hang the artwork on the walls there. Alright, so let me show you what else is going in this room. Alright, here I have my little trusty little IKEA knockoffs. Well, they actually are IKEA products, but they're just miniature versions of the Poang chairs. So I thought I'd create a little seating area over here on this side of the room. And then this little blue table. I think this was, I want to say, Fashion Fever Furniture. I'll put that right between the chairs. There. And then this stool came from one of the um, Fashion Fever. I want to, yeah, Fashion Fever play sets, I want to say. And I, I had spray painted this a long time ago. And you can see all the chips on it. But I used it and I think it still works. So I'm going to touch it up with a little acrylic paint at some point. Alright, so we put that little stool over there. And the purpose for that is to use one of these little lamps that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a black one and it actually works. So the light comes on. So that's what that is for. And we're going to put that over here. In case somebody wants to sit in the chair and read. And then we have some magazines from A Mentalful Life. We have Ebony with Barack Obama on it. And we have Becoming by Michelle Obama. So these are the magazines that I'm going to place on the little table right there 
and then I have a little plant from Michael's from the little miniature sections in Michael's I got this years ago too Let's see. we'll just put that on the table there all right and now let's discuss the shelves Now, these are the shelves from the Target Dollar Spot that I used to make my DIY pantry. So let me just push this back a little bit. We'll rearrange it better. So the shelves are adjustable. And I pulled out, I think, maybe two of the shelves out of there in order to make room for my little setup. And what I did to bring some color into it, I actually put this purple paisley scrapbook paper. And I just folded the paper to fit inside. And it didn't impede the shelves being slid, you know, slid back in or anything like that. And, let's get a little bit closer. I took these little wire lights and I hot glued them. I hot glued the lights to the top. To the inside and the back and under the first shelf here so I did that and I just use very minimal amounts of hot glue and if it tears the paper it's not a big deal but it'll just leave a little spot there and um, to get the items to stay so they wouldn't knock over I use little dots of hot glue to affix everything to the shelves and when I had to reposition some, it did make a little nick in the wood. But it's nothing that a little piece of fine grit sandpaper won't smooth over. So, I did that. This little component set is the one that they were selling on eBay that was so popular. It cost me about 40 something dollars to get it. And that included shipping. I think it was like right under $50. But it lights up in the back as well. So, let me show you how that works. There's a little switch on the back of each one of these. And there it is. So it lights up. And it comes with the two speakers. And one speaker has a cover and the other speaker does not. And I wanted to show you the albums that I have. I got these albums from the Fashion Royalty Convention a long time ago. It was the Hi-Fi Convention. It was kind of like a tiki type party. The Hi-Fi convention. And I had these albums in a little pack and I never used them. So when I was trying to pull items for the dioramas, I said, oh, I need some albums for my component set. And they actually have a little vinyl disc in there as an album. So I pulled these. And I have some albums, I think, from uh, Scary Doll Person. That's Tara. O'Shea. She's called Fringe Element on um, Instagram. I've been knowing Tara a long time. She does a lot of nice little miniature things. Earrings for dolls and all kinds of good stuff. And I have some albums and some magazines that she made me a long time ago. But I haven't been able to locate them just yet. But I have quite a lot more unpacking to do. So... I'm sure I'll run across them. So I have some albums. And um, again, more of the little chunky candles from the Fashion Fever sets or the Mycene sets. I just went crazy collecting these things. Every time I saw somebody selling these candles, I just bought them. So all these little chunky candles, candles on the pedestal, all came from Barbie play sets. And this is the battery control for the lights and I just kind of tuck that back there in the back kind of almost blends in let me see if I can get to stand up this time well previously it had been standing up so we'll let that stay there then I have the little obelisk from uh, the vases from the Jonathan Adler play sets and some little obelisk that I bought from a lady online a long time ago they're black and white so I have a grouping here 
and then I have a grouping over here and one of the little silver statues that came with one of those Barbie fashions um, I think it was like uh, I want to say Academy Awards fashion or something like that movie star scene so I put that in there and then this is some pottery my girlfriend Theo gave me that at convention last November and then I bought these at Hobby Lobby a while back and they were all neutral tan colors so I painted them this uh, bright pink magenta looking color and this teal color and I put a gloss of Mod Podge on them so they would shine and have a little sheen and this is one of the little um, Barbie Mycene playset candles and it had a beige base on it but I wanted it black so I painted that I didn't Mod Podge it I kind of left it matte and then down here on the bottom I have some more magazines and some books from A Mentiful Life and this little canister came from Remit set don't know which one this is a lantern from one of the Mycene play sets some more obelisk and Jonathan Adler vases here a little ball of bowl of uh, yarn and the, the knitting needles and these are some round clear vases glass vases that I had so I made a little grouping there and put some little plastic flowers in there and that is how I staged the Target dollar spot shelving unit and that's what it's gonna be it's like a wall unit for my little dining seating area for my diorama so let me put that in place and I have just a uh, one other thing to show you to put on the table and then we'll get the dolls in the scene okay so we have the shelving unit in place and we have our little dining set here I have a little Jonathan Adler tray with some uh, I think it's just remit it's not remit it's the little tea set that comes with the Gloria but the little crystal set is actual remit so I have that on a little tray like they're having a little tea or something some water with water glasses I suppose so there we are and I place that on the table again just to bring some color into um, my room and I found the other album Exotica album from the hi-fi convention so I will place that over there and someone gave me these little uh, sachets I thought they were pillows but they're actually lavender sachets and I've been holding them all this time one says joy peace and love so I'm going to use those for the chairs over here, the IKEA chairs. I'm use one as a floor cushion to make a little seating area for them. All right, let's put this little album in here. We have the lights on. Have a cozy little atmosphere over here. bring a little light into the space here and there we are I'm very proud of my windows and the scenes behind it I think I did a pretty good job there's my little seating area cozy little rugs hardwood floors my Target Dollar Spot table, that's a decor riser, and all the accessories on the little baker's racks that I'm using for storage and display purposes in the space, my artwork on the walls. I thought it turned out really, really neat. I enjoyed the painting. So let me show you the dolls that I had in the
course, we have Preston Woods. So, Mr. Woods is over. He is uh, visiting the Poppy Dolls. So, he doesn't live here. He is just a visitor. He came to hang out and listen to some music. So, we're going to sit him over here. Here we go. There's Mr. Preston. Then we had uh, Rendezvous in Rio, Poppy. And I have her wearing a Barbie Best Buy, I think. I think that's what she's wearing. There she is. So we're going to let her sit in the chair and chill with Preston over here. And then I have Hold That Tiger, Poppy. And she is wearing a fashion fever dress and she's bare feet because she's at home and I'm going to sit her on the floor. On a little floor cushion there. And she's just talking to her peeps. It's kind of hard to get Preston to sit up straight in this chair. And... As I said before, another thing that makes it hard is that the Homs can't only bend their neck so far forward. And I haven't wanted to try messing with him to do a modification to get him to move his head forward anymore. So that's why I have to sit him up the way that I do. And then we have Shining in the Starlight Poppy. And I took a braid and wrapped it around so it wouldn't be so long. And she is wearing... Uh, old Barbie, I think it was uh, Glam Nail Teresa or something like that. I can't remember the name of that doll, but she was a Teresa doll and she was gorgeous. She was one of the most beautiful Teresa Barbies they ever made. She had like some bangs and uh, like burgundy color brunette hair, just a uh, high color face. She was just gorgeous. And I have her sitting at the table and she's talking to her poppy sisters so that's the diorama scene with the dolls in it all in all I'm pretty pleased I managed to get some really good pictures and it probably took me three or four days to working on it for three or four days in a row to get things to pull to stage the diorama to make the walls and such and it was a labor of love. And once I do all that, I tend to leave my dioramas up for at least a couple of weeks. And I take other dolls, you know, that I think will fit into the scene. I'll leave it up and I will stage photo ops for them and post those pictures on Facebook and diorama, and, uh, the diorama groups and Instagram. And then once I've left it up a couple of weeks and it starts gathering a little dust or what have you, I'll just disassemble everything that needs to be disassembled and I'll just take it down and store it and then I'll start planning the next diorama and my next diorama is going to be a permanent kitchen setup but I'm running into some problems with layout and trying to find something to use for a suitable island that I don't have to make out of foam core I want it to be wood or plastic but something durable and not foam core so I've been playing this diorama planning to do it for like three or four months now and I just hit a snag so until I find out what I'm going to use for my island I'm kind of at a standstill so this concludes my target dollar spot diorama bill using target items I used the windows that came from the doll spot they were three dollars these shelving units were five dollars and I have to thank my friend Carol she man she ran all over New York finding them so she shipped me a box with three of these in it so I was grateful to have those and um, of course I've used them for the diorama pantry and um, I like those little shelves they're very useful and one of the things that I did when I took the pantry down, I didn't take all those items I had used um, poster tag to put them in there. I left them in those items and I wrapped them in bubble wrap and taped it up so nothing can fall out of them. So if I decide to do another pantry video, all I have to do is just unwrap those shelves and they're ready to go. So that's how I did that and I probably will store 
this pantry, I mean this uh, living room, dining room scene, I'll probably use, just leave everything because I used hot glue. And I'll leave it in there, make sure all the lights are turned off and everything. And I will just wrap it in bubble wrap and tape it up really good so everything stays right there with it. And then if I ever decide to use it again, it's ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this diorama video. Hope it inspired you to check out the Bullseye Playground Target Dollar Spot for our Dolly needs and our Dolly Verses. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. And if you have any comments or questions, drop me a line. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.